Hello everyone. After having just finished The Chronicles of Riddick Escape from Butcher Bay, I wanted to come back and give my thoughts on it to a little bit of a review. So my overall impressions of this game is that it's pretty damn good. It's got some flaws, but it's a hell of a lot of fun. It's basically the game equivalent of a cheesy action movie. So if you're looking for a bit of action that doesn't outstay its welcome, and has a good amount of variety, then I think you're looking at the right game. So let's go into it. What is this game? It came out in 2004 originally. It's a movie, or it's a game tie-in to the movie series, The Chronicles of Riddick, or whatever you want to call that series. Featuring, of course, Riddick. That's who you are. My super buff, bald dude, as you can maybe see in the shadow. The ridiculous action hero that is basically invincible and spouts cheesy one-liners. The edition I'm playing right now is... I'm not exactly sure what the hell it's called. It's not the director's cut, it's... Uh, well, it's a remastered edition that came out in 2009. Released alongside uh, Assault on Dark Athena. Kind of like two games similarly related. Um, Escape from Butcher Bay was the first one, and along with Assault on Dark Athena, the original Butcher Bay was also remade, with some gameplay changes as well as improved graphics, so this is the improved version from the 2004 version. It's looking better. And it looks, well, it looks damn good. So originally came out in 2004, graphics and everything else improved in 2009. Still looks really damn good today. Let's get into some gameplay. So I feel like one of the strongest things about this game is how... It, as strange as it is to say, it's how short the game is and also how varied. It's a ridiculous game, it's a cheesy game, but it's a lot of fun. Because there's a lot of different things going on. For example, there's a stealth system, I just turned out the lights. I've also got some eyes that allow me to see in the dark. Hello! I don't know what that just did. <laughs> okay, I think I need a different weapon to actually stealth kill him. So instead I just uh, moved him forwards for a second there. Oh, apparently the lockers are destructible. Huh. <laughs> I'm trying to long range somebody with a shotgun. So there's a lot of different elements going on in this game. There's a stealth system, as you can see, you can turn out lights, you can also shoot out lights too. Let me, in fact, let me turn this back on and shoot it out instead. So there you go. Some different tactical possibilities there. Use your eyes to try to stay hidden. To be honest, the stealth system kind of sucks. It's there, but it kind of blows. Namely because if an enemy sees you for even a fraction of a second, they will instantly start shooting at you. There's no grace period whatsoever, so if you're like, huh, I wonder what's around the corner. I'm just gonna take a look. And if they happen to be looking in your direction, boom, they've now already taken a shot at you and everybody knows you're there. So the stealth system kind of blows. And the AI also kind of blows. I don't even think I killed this guy. He's probably just spinning in a circle behind this wall. Where are you? Oh yeah, I remember. They're outside of there. It's possible I'm actually going to die here. Let me grab a weapon. However, despite those two things kind of blowing... I think what's really fun about the game is how much it varies. And how much it doesn't overstay its welcome, as I said before. So there's stealth sections, there's a lot of shooting, and there's actually some solid gunplay. I mean, the weapons feel meaty to shoot. Good sounds. There's some decent feedback from hitting enemies, not as much as I'd like, but it feels pretty good. Let's take out these foos. Shoot this damn thing so it stops blaring at me. Whew, I almost died. Let me go get healed up by stabbing my neck with huge spikes. Oh no, don't shoot my back! I heard somebody shooting. Where are they shooting from? Who's fucking with me? Pew! <laughs> One hit in the head and they're dead. So there's definitely some weak points about this game. You've probably already noticed the AI seems kind of shit. And trust me, I've seen some worse things. I've seen enemies just spinning in place. Like doing a, a full 360 about three times. 
I've seen enemies screaming that, like, I found him! But all they're doing is, like, running back and forth. In a room, just like, huh? Running to the wall? Running back here? Running to the wall? All the while just screaming their heads off and doing nothing. There's some wonky stuff. But it's, it's pretty fun. Again, it's like a, a popcorn sort of action game. You go around, you do ridiculous things. Riddick just spouts one-liners. And there's a lot of variety in the environments. There's variety in multiple ways. There's variety in the environments that you visit, and also in your capabilities as... as a person. Most games... Most action games like this that have guns and stuff like that, typic, guns and stuff like this, typically have a, a linear progression of power. Where you start out maybe with no weapons, or you start out with a pistol or something like that, and then maybe you get a shotgun, and then an assault rifle, and then a rocket launcher and stuff like that, and it just builds up. And you get more and more powerful. But in this game, it actually rebounds back and forth. Like, there's certain sections in the game where you have a ton of weapons. You have pretty much all the weapons. You got a shotgun, you got a assault rifle and whatnot, and stuff like that. And then other sections, you end up getting uh, captured, and then you go to jail, and you have all your weapons taken away. And then you end up having to scrounge around for shivs. Or knuckle dusters and stuff like that, and you have to fight people in uh, these little fist fighting rings to try to, pro to try to prove your worth inside of the prisons. And then other sections where you rebound, once again, you go back up to having weapons and having powerful stuff. And other sections where you get to get inside of a gigantic mech, basically, and shoot people with miniguns. It just goes back and forth. So it's always changing up your capabilities. It never stays on one thing for too long. And you visit all these different environments. There's even horror sections in the game where you're kind of in the dark, using your eyes that allow you to see in the dark. And like throwing flares and fighting monsters. So there's just a lot of variety, and this is all over a period of about six to seven hours, how long the game lasts. So all these horror elements, different, uh, you know, from having no weapons to having all the weapons you could possibly want, and just back and forth and back and forth, it's always varying so much. It's really cool. It never stays on one thing for too long. Shoot up the lights here. There we go. Use my natural advantage. They can't see me. Phew. Yeah, so sometimes, like in this case, the stealth the stealth system can kinda work. But trust me, many times it does not. Yeah, and there's a lot of different genres sort of thrown into the mix here, too. There's obviously FPS, that's the strongest one. You often hold guns and shoot people. It's definitely FPS's thing. But there's more, too. There's also kind of an RPG system. Very very light, but there's some RPG um, elements. Especially when you visit various prisons, you end up trying to collect weapons, and you end up talking to a bunch of the other prisoners. And if we go here, see so you have this missions list. Now, when you're outside of the prisons, you I'm pretty sure you only... For the most part, only have one mission, just the main mission. But when you're in prison, when you're in prison, you can talk to a bunch of different people, and you can actually pick up missions. And they're op a lot of them are optional. You can choose whether to do them or not. They might give you some money that allows you to buy some better tools, or they give you like collectibles or something like that in the form of these uh, cigarette packs that you can get right here. I've already collected a bunch of them. So there's kind of some RPG elements. There's obviously some, uh, some stealth elements. There's some FPS elements. So there's a bunch of different things going on. So you've got a bunch of different genres, a bunch of different environments. Your capabilities vary a lot over time, back and forth, not just linearly developing. Some solid shooting. And all of this develops over about six to seven hours. While your character spouts, again, ridiculous one-liners and all sorts of silly stuff happens. So it's, it's not a particularly smart game. It's not particularly well-written or particularly well-designed, to be honest. But again, it's a very varied interesting experience. So, it's a good time. I would definitely recommend it if you're in the mood for some some action. That, for once, which is quite rare, I think, for once it actually does not overstay its welcome. It's quite amazing. Maybe I can show off the terrible AI here. Yeah, I mean, look at that. What is, <laughs> what is he doing? Yeah, 
like running around like some <laughs> He just tried to run up to me and melee me with a pistol. Like, who even does that? I don't even know what just happened there. Hey, do you want to bet I can go up to this guy and melee him to death? Alright, he's gonna reload. He's reloading. Come on. Damn it. I wanted to... No, there's a special thing you can do if you time it right where you can get them to, like, shoot themselves. That didn't work. Oh, maybe I can do it here. Come back, come back, come back, come back. Don't shoot me, don't shoot me, don't shoot me. I need to get close. Here we go. Ah, no, it doesn't work. I think I need to have my fists out. Let me see if I can do it. I want to do it. I want to do it. Shit. Nope, I'm gonna die. Come around the corner. Come on, come. Come, come, come. Oh, there's too many. There's too many. They just punched each other for some reason. I want to see if I can show you that thing, and then, and then I'm going to end. The spaceport hangars should be up ahead. Better to stay low and unnoticed. Also, I'm absolutely in love with Riddick's voice. His ridiculous gravelly voice. It's amazing. Let's go around this guy. Let's go to somebody with a gun, huh? All right, turn that light off. Okay, fine, shoot at me. Whatever. <laughs> that didn't exactly work. That did not exactly work. All right, here we go. Let me see if I can do this. There we go. If you time it just right with your fists, you can do that. It's pretty cool. Most of the time it's not worth it, but it's pretty cool. There we go. Let's get stabbed in the neck one more time. So yeah, ridiculous action game. Silly, but a hell of a lot of fun. Would definitely recommend it. Um, I give this game 9 out of 10 pizzas. Would have another slice.